Greetings, I'm Sir Bean Glory, and welcome to part 17 of my Colomac campaign in Gravity Team Tactics Mius Front. This is from the Predators in the Mist DLC. And last time out, we beat off a Soviet attack to the east of Krishanichin. It wasn't the strongest of attacks, but um, they did come with maybe half a dozen tanks. Uh, up here, I think we've got, and this might be a fresh tank company coming in. Uh, we've got 9th and 10th companies from the 344th Infantry Regiment and 2nd Company of Engineers. And we've got a few anti-tank guns and hopefully these guys have like 36s. We shall see. Let's jump in, see whether the uh, Soviets can make good on this attack. I think all my units here are fresh as well. It's their first time in combat. Okay. Right, we've got some high ground over here. Well, <laughs> high ground, I think there might just be a valley. Yeah, that all looks like that. Let's get rid of this and that. And get back up here. Yeah, so we've got a valley cutting in here. 177 metres there. 185. So we might have some slightly higher ground here. Overlooking that sort of position. But they're actually attacking towards Brovkov again. Is that their plan? Well, actually... Yeah, we can't hold that sector. They are attacking in here. Okay. Looking for height markers of any sort of description. So this may be a spot that's quite far back as well. Uh, that would give us some uh, areas of fire over here and then to the rear of Brovkov. That's all along the same contour in there. I think this is a higher ground. Okay, let's see what we've got. Do we have... Yeah, we do have a couple of flight 36s. So if you were in here, what is your vision? Right, so that is high ground up there. That is a pain. Okay, uh, let's see. If you were back here, this will be down lower ground, isn't it? Yeah, and if you're over there, and even that, you're still not getting the vision beyond that crest over there. Right, Valkyrie, you're down in here. Uh, but that's not Flight 36, it's, it's Kluger. You're back in this position. Ah, there's a marker. That's 188 point, uh, 188, 186.2 there. So that is the highest ground in the vicinity. Okay. Uh, Herzl, you have the legs over here. And if you were up, with, up here with a leg, yeah, you can see nothing. Back there is okay. Yeah, so I think we're going to let them advance up onto the high ground there and then we'll hit them with whatever we have. Tanks, 
think we're in here. So, might they come across from there? Or up through here? I guess we'll find out. Right, okay, so I'm going to... Would they want to come up here? They can cross over. There's a gap between the trenches. Um, so I'm going to set up off camera and then I'll bring you guys back. But yeah, you can see if we were setting up here, there's a crest right there. Just where that trench line is actually. Okay, so I'll set up and then I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to start. Okay, deployment's done. And as you can see, we have concentrated over here. Still holding about half of the capture zone, or the, the objective zone, that they can take and hold. I've just completely abandoned Brovkov. I really did want to set up some units over here, but the lines of sight just absolutely horrendous because of the terrain or the, the vegetation. So down at this point, any sort of infantry or anti-tank weapons other than the Flak 36s had absolutely no line of sight at all up into that area. We could see as far as like one square ahead. And I didn't want to have the Flak 36s because we can only deploy here and they could see as far as this, I didn't want them to be that close to the enemy when they opened fire. So we've just abandoned Brovkov and set up over here where we've got some lines of sight. Let's check out Flak 36 is back here. So you can see as far as the house and up to the crest of that high ground. We've got our pack 40s, similar uh, range of vision, but they can see obviously further up to here. And our legs, we've got way back here. In terms of our infantry, uh, here's all the, the 10th company we've got over here to the right. And we've got some of the uh, MG34s back there, just to provide some cover in case anything comes in from this angle. We don't expect it to come down through the forest and towards our legs, but these guys are back here for now. We'll put them forward to need. The other MG34s are in sort of here next to that platoon. That's a second platoon there. We have uh, Valker and the ninth company. One platoon deployed up there, another in here. And they, again, don't have great lines of sight ahead of them. Better lines of sight over there where we expect the attack to come in. The problem for these guys in particular is that most of their MG34s are damaged. We've got one operative MG34 in there. Uh, these guys are also providing a, hopefully a bit of cover against anything that comes along that road. And finally, we've got our engineers under Kluger. And again, they've got mortars uh, set up over here. And again, decent lines of sight for them. And they've got one platoon down here. Who is this? Thier. Or Tier. Um, so, 16th Engineer Company down in this valley here that they can advance up and take this objective area if need be. That's how we're deployed. I've not, just remember, I've not set up any artillery yet. So we've got two 15 centimeter Schwerer Infanterie Geschütze. And I guess, can we zero in? We can. What's your line of sight? Yeah, that's good enough. So you're going to zero in on the house. We've only got 122 rounds. 
We'll also have you zero in over here then. And we might just leave it at that. You can call in fire or anything else that advances in there. And then we have our 15 centimeter Schwerefeld Haubitza. And again, your line of sight is pretty restricted. So I think we'll call in some for you just on this junction here. Uh, you can only, f oh, you can't zero in. Well, in that case, 380 high explosive. Let's have you cover that objective. But can't see it. Right, so that is a rethink then. Can you come back up here? That's better, right? Uh, sorry, give me this please. Much better. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this area here. Let's delay it by 15 minutes and then give us 60 rounds on there. 60? No. Such a guessing game. Don't want to waste too much ammo. And then again with this. Try something like that. And we'll give that after another 10 minutes. Yeah, okay. And again, just 40 rounds. Well, I think that's probably us. I could throw some more back into us, Brovkov. But that's really just a waste. So we'll settle for that. And that's our deployment done. Let's go into initial orders. Nobody's actually going to have any initial orders. So we can move on. And obviously it's getting towards dark. So there are chances of spotting the enemy. It's quite limited. Right, so we've got with three, four, perhaps, flares up there. So they're going to recce forward from that position as another. Nothing right, which is good. What was that? It wasn't me, I hope. No, oh, this is our... There's another flare going up. More recce. Uh, so imagine that's uh, Soviet artillery then. It's not just mortar fire. Oh, I managed to find some trenches to put those guys in, which is good to know. So that's Camp, or, or Ramp, recognise your name. You'll get your heads down for now, since you're in trenches. No sign of the enemy. Where's their artillery falling? Good. It's nice and far away. 
Mind you. Not so far away from these guys. Uh, is that you? You three. Best move up there. Save yourselves. Like 36 positions. <laughs> Guess it was a Soviet advance up there at some point in the past. More Araki flares. There. Tell it continues to fall in Krishanichin. So, well, sorry, uh, Zorn, I've just sent you up there. Get over there instead. Although I don't think there's anyone really safe around there. I'm a bit concerned about my machine guns here, but in the bigger scale of things, I'm glad where this artillery's fallen for now. We're around the outskirts of that area. Aha! can see somebody. There are some company mortars uh, that would be able to cover that position, but none of the flank or the packs or flank guns have orders to shoot at infantry. Happy just to let them come forward for now. And hope that they get into position for my artillery barrage. This one here. Oh, that's not very nice. It's a Valker. We won't. Your machine gun. Oh, you, you don't have machine guns, do you? Right, can you see over there? Not particularly. Now the mortals are shooting anyway. They can see for themselves. That's fine. Yeah, I just wondered where they were firing at. Must be up there. Right, uh, let's see. You don't shoot at infantry just now. It's enough just to keep them a wee bit pinned down, let the machine guns get into action. Tanks on the way. There's one. I don't know if that leg was trying to hit it there. It looked like it. Somebody bigger than a leg's shooting at it now. Uh, nope. Here. Oh, sorry. This other Black 36 is shooting at it. Bit high. 
No, it's obscured by smoke. Go on, hit it again. Is that my artillery? No, it's not my artillery. Speaking of artillery, I should actually get my other uh, spot to call in some fire up there. Right, that tank just took two hits, it looked like. I think that one's going to survive. We've moved on to that second one there. Oh, somebody's still shooting at that. This one looks like it's lost a track. Right, enough of that. Let's check out this. Where is your spot? It's there. Now, can you call in some fire up here? 80 metres, that's acceptable. 10 per gun, and... Yeah, just go with high X, that'll do. Back down to our flank. Still get one mobile tank, obviously. Going to get quite a clip. It's maybe not a T-34. Oh, you're searching, you're not firing. That was a good hit, wasn't it? Right. Uh, you both conserve ammo now. And how close are we with this? These guys are hopefully going to get pinned there and then get hammered by that artillery when it comes in. Uh, you... Did I move you? I would definitely ask, thought about moving you. I don't think I did though. Could you... Uh, move forward just to there. Again, the mortars are firing by themselves, it looks like. Should I... Let's see if we can get this guy to... Let's see if we can get this guy to move. Right, yeah, you're in great position, actually. Let's have you come up here instead. Ammo cooking off back there. Right, what can you see now? Better. Right, we want uh, you then to call in some fire there. Right on top of them, please. Under the legs. I don't think we need you expending all your ammunition. Can you see from there? No. Just wait then. Make sure there's nothing coming in behind. And what actually ended up happening to this guy? Yeah. Uh, it looks like you all made it. So I just get into defensive positions down there. We'll concentrate up here. A few more minutes until the artillery comes in. Nice exploding tanks.
Still three minutes. Uh, do we have artillery? Uh, artillery uh, mortars. You only got twenty six percent. Why is that? Pray tell. Why you stopped counting up? Okay, let's try again. It's not made any difference. Okay. Plenty of targets up there. There's another tank, it looks like. Yep. Couple of tanks. Um, come out of that. Let's get back down into here ish. There's the other one there, it's there. Yep, both the Black 36s in. Just about. Let's take this off. Artillery's still a minute and a half away. I wonder if our pack 40s have got into the. Fight. Oh wow! Ricochet! Uh, have our pack 40s got into the fight yet? I don't think those tanks are going to be up to much. Right. Uh, let's think. This back on. We do have some infantry up here. And I wanted to check out these guys. Yep, you're firing. Who's over here? Ramp. You guys can get your heads up again. Cover that flank. This artillery is still preparing. You're supposed to. Yeah. You're supposed to prepare while we're waiting, you know? Sending Eichner up there. We'll do that later. No need to do it right now. Any chance you're firing yet? No. Uh, uh, mortars. You do have some fire coming in now. How about. Um, do that instead. to get away from there at all. Firing finally. See some nice big explosions up there soon. That looks like one. That looks like another. I wish I could cancel the second one though. Just 
Still okay over there. Nothing else happening apart from this. These guys might come forward into the second barrage. But yeah, we've made a bit of a mess up here. I don't know if there's any infantry here now or if it's tank crews. Let's check it out. The, not very many, actually. Another tank or two on their way up. Spotted a tank or three, it looks like actually. You're searching, you're firing. Why did you jump so far back? Okay. Good effort. Wow. What's that tank made of? Now, where's the third? Is the third being taken out? No, there it's there. Do you know, we're going to have you on conserve ammo just now. You are conserving ammo, that's good to know. Wait until they get into decent firing, uh, a decent position for you to hit them. Like that. Actually, that's not in the best of positions. That's probably why you've stopped firing for now. The artillery is still falling, still some coming in. There it is. How about troops that were over to the left don't seem to be heading over towards Brovkov at all. There we go. 15 centimetre rounds continue to fall. Tanks sort of turn fire against the packs over here. Well, 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 lots of hits there, it looked like. It looked like a direct hit from the 15 centimeter and another in that bunker. tank coming forward. This may well have been a fresh tank company after all. It's not fresh any longer. Which I don't know if you've got... Mm, I'd rather you held on to a wee bit more. You off, shoot it well now. This one's already on low ammo. Did you get that order? Conserve ammo, don't shoot it well. Right, still a few guys up here. These machine guns spotted somebody worth shooting at. Where is he? That's a link. Yeah, he's there. So 
impressive that you can see somebody shoot at from in there. Right, what are we doing? Still got 15 rounds to come in. You, yeah. So it's not going to hit these tanks, it's coming back along this direction, the artillery fire. sending these guys forward but or at least up to the top of the bank there but no point giving them targets to shoot at machine guns. Trying to saw this telegraph pole in half. What's happened to our artillery? There it's there. Is this a tank? Or is it the crew? I think it must be the tank. Yes, it is. Another over there somewhere. Let's have a look over here. Is it worth sending people forward? I don't think it is, to be honest. It's not a strategic objective. Well, that is a homestead. I was thinking about the barn over here. No, we will send folks up there. So let's see, a ramp. I want one of your squads. Let's do that. Where are they? Ah, you're stretched all the way up there, right. Where are these guys? You're running. You get back up here, please. Could you the nice that's what I was going to send up there? Right, we'll just wait until they get back and then we'll just send everyone. To attack the homestead. It's happening over here. Still more of the same. Still got a few rounds to come in here, and then the next barrage over there. That's not going to be any use to anybody. As I said, I wish I could cancel this one. You're getting round and about there. I'm going to do this. Hang on. I don't want these people back here if they're not part of Bramp's squads. I 
Let's do that. And a good one. Group two. Group one. Let's get you to tank up there. It's fine in group two, you just continue to uh, give them uh, covering fire. Why are you moving? You should have... Uh, I think you're doing part of this heavy weapons. No? Anyway. Uh, that's firing now over there to no effect. Guys, up here. Let's see if you go back now. We'll at least try and protect you. I don't think we need to lose the Flak 36s to fire again. Right, so they're still up here. I'm going to send these guys down here. Group three and group four. Or I want you to wreck you forward into firing positions. Group three, attack up there just now. I just spotted some troops over there I think, so keep an eye out for them. Flight 36 is you're getting to shoot at will again. Because there did seem to be tank shooting at our backs I think. You're firing up at that one. Yeah, he stopped firing. Nope. Nice effort. I don't know if it is a tank that's shooting at the packs. It looks like it's maybe some sort of high velocity gun, anti tank gun or something, maybe. Maybe a this. We've dragged forward. You. I've forgotten about you. You call in fire across here. 70 meters would be okay. Let's go for 10 rounds per gun. Uh, just do that. This other artillery, yeah. So there are some troops over there. Might get some use out of that after all. Over here. Let's so have you guys sort into the trenches there. You should still be getting covering fire from your friends back here. Again. Did 
Did you not see this guy over here? Shoot him. Thank you. At least keep his head down. Our guys up there, some of ours up there. Okay. Right, let's check out this. Yep. Okay, get into defensive positions in and around there, please. That is all of you. You guys can stay back there for now. Right, what's happening over here? This artillery is coming in. I don't see any advancing going on. A bit over here. No, not much. I don't think they've done anything like enough to take control of the sector. Whether they win the battle or not, again, I don't think, I wouldn't have thought this counts as a win for them. The amount of armour they've lost. Do my packs... Oh, one get immobilised. Do the other one go away. that. I need to plop some down right on there. Let's go with um, incendiaries this time. And just three per gun. We can't fire. Oh, there's only two guns, so i have only got ten rounds. That would be fine there. Okay. Fighting over here. Looks like there is still some combat going on. Just a few men, but doesn't look too bad. It's a mortar. I don't know why the hell you came forward. Anyway, we now, I think, quite securely hold the homestead. Should I send you guys forward? Thinking about... Covert move to there. And then... Sort across there. These guys here surely can't have much left. Surprisingly, still active. I 
Who's our artillery firing? And well oh, that's still the original barrage. That's where the incendiaries are coming in. This tank back here has on the track. There's our other artillery barrage coming in, and it does look like it's catching the odd Soviet troop. Fifteen centimetre guns are great and all, but it takes so long to fire, and you've only got two of them. It hardly seems worthwhile. Mind you, if a shell landed right there, it would be pretty worthwhile. Sending you forward while this artillery is still coming in, but you could creep a wee bit further forward. And Hirsch. Oh, you've got your machine guns. Have you got a line of sight out there? You do. You're taking some fire, actually. Okay. Let's have a You would be group five. So the infantry, let's have you first move down the hills there. And half tracks. You would be group six. And get you fast moving down there as well. Stuff. One of you anyway. Did you not get the order? And there's more folks up there than I had realised. Uh, not you. You. I mean, life should be pretty bad for them. We've got four guns. Shooting up there as opposed to just the two down here. And the two down here, have you switched your incendiaries? Not quite. One of them back there. We hold this position over here now. So let's have you just get back into defensive positions here. Leave your machine guns in there. And then Eichner. Okay. You are group seven. Your heavy weapons 
Uh, group 8. Let's some few. Attack up to there. Your heavy weapons. Just wrecky. Find some targets to shoot at. It's half tracks. Just move up that slope. Okay, these positions across here turned out to be pretty decent. Obviously the Soviet's line of advance was quite predictable, I suppose. That second battery is done. So the incendiaries should be coming in over here. Somewheres. And then we'll get some more uh, high X in, I think. That position, uh, high explosive, five per gun. I didn't notice any. Incendiaries? Did I miss them completely? How about over to the left? Should I bring those guys forward? I don't think so. They're probably a bit exposed to anything that's up here. Guys, it's supposed to be defensive positions, which I would have thought meant getting the trench. Your heavy weapons I could bring forward Up into the homestead, into defensive positions, please. The machine guns in there. Let's see if you can maybe put some fire down in the crossroads. There's some more artillery landing somewhere off to the left. So speaking of artillery, there's mine coming in. I'm not suppressed though. But... Junkers... Going to have. Uh, I think we're in group nine here. And you, hang on. Your group ten. So let's have group nine. Begin an attack. Group 10, again, just recce. Make sure that you're in positions that you can see the enemy. Lay down suppressing fire. Here's six. I think one of these half-tracks might have got bogged down or disabled in some way, but let's try moving forward. Where are your infantry? in there as well somewhere. Right, infantry. Come up 
the slope as well. And not you actually. It's you. Can you cause in some artillery up here? You still get eighty eight, so yeah, five per gun there. And I would like some up here. Again, five per gun. Let's get you guys to attack up into the trench position and then get into defensive positions there. Your machine guns just up onto the road there. You're still coming forward. Just checking to see that they hadn't offered me a ceasefire already. I guess they still think they can take the house. Let's send you further forward. In an attack, you can stay there. Yep, you attack up there. Tracks keep moving. I want you in laying down covering fire for these guys as well. So, I want you just to take up defensive positions there now because we've got all that artillery due to land up at the house very soon the tank here been engaged not sure by whom but whoever it is it seems to be High caliber enough to force it to retreat. Is it you? Yes, it is. That looked like a decent hit, but maybe not enough. Mind you, it could be retreating with a dead driver, but still got a gunner, obviously. This flight gun here seemed to say it was suffering a malfunction. Maybe it's been repaired. Can you see anything here? Not really. Still a tank hiding over there. Yeah, you do have a malfunction. And it looks like part of your malfunction is that your crew's all been shot. Hmm. Five killed, heavily wounded. Four wounded. Right, that tank has pulled back. Not dead yet, though. I think it is withdrawing. Yep, so, Group 7, into the trenches, please. Artillery coming in. Yes. Okay, hopefully that will keep their heads down a bit. You're in there. 
Yeah, you keep attacking up in that direction. I've had you with your heads down all the time, have I? Sorry. Try that again, are you knackered? Uh, this is these guys. I think you're okay. Uh, you can stay there. Half tracks. Come forward again. And that is coming in over there, and then the rest is coming in up that direction. So I want you to attack up to there. And then defensive positions. up here. There's a few of them. Where are your machine guns? Over here to the right, I think. Yep. Move forward. I don't think you're doing anything at all from here. No. Move up. Lay down some fire, please. Should be salt into there. You're looking suppressed at all. Not really. It's a bit dangerous up here. was mobilised as well. So one did manage to pull back, but I wonder if it ran into artillery fire. You've got into position that you being uh, Eichner's main. You're group seven, I think. Could you Covert move up to there and then slot that last bit. Machine guns come forward, make sure you're laying down fire. Everything looks fine over here. So if you move up to there and then you guys can start, uh, you know, retreating. No. Yes, you are. Oh well. I was going to send you forward up the flank, but just stay where you are. Well, half tracks seem to be in the fight now. And you, there's a tank up there. You've got fire at will. Can you see that tank? Well, oh. zoom in. There it is, there's your target. It's going awful fast, it's got tank riders on it. I need to go and have a look. It does. It did. Not often you see that. Right, anyway, we're supposed to be what 
watching you shoot at it. You're moving. Oh, you're the one that had its crew all shot away, aren't you? Right. You seem to have found your target now. Is it still there? It is. Shoot again. I hope I can repair those pack 40s. Because we don't really have anything to do. Replace them with. Not a nice shot. Well done. Now that the now that tank's dealt with, there's still one away back there, but I don't think that's a threat. We can get the half tracks perhaps to come a bit further forward again. Uh, that was going to support these guys, but there's not many of those guys left. Okay, we've got a minute and 10 seconds to go. The Soviets are laying down smoke to cover their retreat. There's another tank appeared in there. Or is that the one that's just been sat there for a while? I wonder, is it immobilised? Let's have a look. Did it get trapped by debris or something from that bunker? Who knows? And I would actually, I did see that bunker. It looked like it had been hit by artillery a couple of times. I wonder if that was a tank behind it trying to shoot through it or something. Right, anyway. So. Yes. Hopefully, this isn't a defeat for us. Hopefully, also, as I said. We can recover the two Flak 36s. Well, one of these is now destroyed. Hopefully we can recover the other Pack 40. Hmm. Don't like this. I certainly don't like that. Right, we had 101 casualties to 197 on theirs. They had 105 killed. So 3 to 1 in terms of kill ratio. Uh, 11 damaged vehicles. Did we capture anything? Two heavy weapons. Captured one gun. I think we did end up pulling back. Uh, we had two tanks left out of 12. Okay. Let's come back on here. Right, so they did managed to get the house in this sector so we did lose a flak 36 and um, one's been repaired one was abandoned okay disappointing I thought this push may have enabled us to keep a hold of the house with all the dead Soviets and wrecked tanks up here. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it's light tanks that the Flak 36s were taken out, as opposed to T 34s. Pack hit that one and that. Packs hit that. Packs hit that. Can't see what hit that. I would imagine the fact that the packs hit over on this right hand side and hit that one as well. Okay. Disappointed. Can't have too many tanks left though. 
but I lost yeah, back 40 and a half, like 36, another two are both damaged. Right, let's return to the operational map and see what the damage was there. Battle group retreated. There, the battle group defeated. Battle group routed. Okay. Still holding Krishanichin. Still holding. Still holding Brovkov. So it's not all bad. Uh, interesting over here, our allies are attacking with us towards the 572nd Rifle Regiment HQ. Panthers are potentially involved. I'm just going to keep them back, I think. Unless it turns out to be armor over here. We'll find that out in the next part. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.